Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to Rachel Reads. My name is Rachel, I love to read and write Christian fiction, and today I'm doing the Quarter Year Crisis Book Tag. If I sound really weird or there are a lot of different cuts in this video, um, I am getting over really heavy, like, powerful sickness because I had a lot of other symptoms, but the main ones that were a bother was stuffy nose and a sore throat, which obviously affects your voice and how you can speak. Um, and I couldn't film yesterday, which is... Thursday my normal filming day because I sounded horrible but I sound a little bit better today and I feel a lot better praise God for that so I am able to film so yeah first question how many books have you read so far um and I've read 40 books this year I want to work on that a little bit more but so far so good the next question have you already read a 2024 favorite so like a five star or something close to and I have read so many. Um, I A lot of them are series, so I'm just going to say the series name. Um, and for the three series, it is um, The Ilion Chronicles by J.L. Knight. I love that series. You definitely should read. The Blaze of Actar. That one is just like a roller coaster. Um, and The Chronicles of Valera. There are only two books out, and I love both of them so, so much. And The Standalones, Anne of Green Gables. I love this book a lot. A lot more than I thought I would. It was just really good. And then the other one is The Desert Princess by Melanie Sellier. I had, this is a series and I've only read the first three books, but out of those three, I really love The Desert Princess. My next question is, any least favorite or one star reads? Um, yes, sadly there has been one, but it has only been one, so that is a big blessing. Um, but that was A Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh. I personally didn't like it though because there are a lot of like innuendos and it was very based on lust and all of those things which I don't like. The next question is what is your most read genre? And I did look through and it's like in general fantasy. I've read 14 books that are not fantasy. So the rest are some sort of fantasy and maybe just clean, it would be Christian. Some of them are non-magical, some of them are fairy tale retellings. Just fantasy in general, but I really, really have loved it. The next question is a book that surprised you. And um, I have two. One is a series and the other is just a standalone. For the standalone, I am picking Andrew Green Gables. This is part of a series, but I've only read this book, so I really, really loved it. It kind of shocked me how much I did because I did enjoy the story as a movie, but I didn't know I'd love it so much as a book. In the series, is the Chronicles of Elyra. I did have high expectations because um, I had been on like the author's website and different things and really loved a lot of her videos about book one and so I did have high expectations but like there's always that fear that it's not gonna meet that but I love book one a lot. But it was really I guess book two that surprised me because personally I'm not a Marcus fan like at first I wasn't. He grew on me in book two, but not at first. But in book two, he really surprised me. I loved him. That is why I love book two, is because he grew on me, but also because of Delara. Delara is my favorite character in the world, period. Next question is a book that has released in 2024 that you want to read but haven't. And I have a lot of these because a lot of books that I want to read have come out this year. The Elusive Truth of Lily Temple by Joanna Davidson Palatano. Um, one Wrong Move by Danny Petrie, um, Never Fall Again by Lynn H. Blackburn, Up in the Dust by Heather Coffin, and the last one is Double Take by Lynette Eason. The next question is one goal you're succeeding at, and for me that is just like my overall reading goal. I did only make like two goals, which one I'll get to in a second, but my reading goal I am succeeding at, I am like over what the average should be. I still want to read more than I'm reading, but It'll come in time. And the one goal to focus on is my classics. I've read one classic. Can you guess? It's Anne of Green Gables. I really want to focus on that. I'm thinking about rereading a Jane Austen or reading another one. I do want to read A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Last question is new to you booktubers you found in 2024 that you recommend. And I do have three. I'm pretty sure these channels did not start in 2024, but um, I found them through either through either other booktubers or I just like happened to find them. They mentioned me in a video, something like that. And I really, 
I've watched some of their videos, not all of them because priorities in life, but I've watched some of their videos and I've really enjoyed what I've seen. The first one is Morgan's Endless Bookshelf. I've watched a few of her videos and really enjoyed them. She is like very southern, very sweet. The next one, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your second name, but that is Lauren. It's either Jean, Jean, or Janine. My guess is Janine, so we're gonna go with that. But Lauren's channel is really fun. Um, I only like discovered her about a week ago and it was through another booktuber. Um, and I really enjoyed her videos so far. There are, it's really a lot of Christian based content about Christian fiction and different things. So obviously I love seeing that and I'm super excited to continue watching her videos. And the last one is one I mentioned last week, but that is Faith Family and Fun Reviews. Um, the girl's name is Beloved. She is a super sweet booktuber, but she also does Christian movies. So if you're looking for movies that are Christian, I would recommend her because she does a lot of videos on Christian or faith-based movies. But she also has some book reviews or bookish videos that are really interesting to watch. But now I just want to talk about like what I'm reading and just some updates around that sort of thing. So the first one is an announcement. I did make a community post, I believe, on Sunday or Monday. It is a post asking for some of your favorite books. So if you want to head on over to the community page and just comment down some of your favorite books, they can be any of your favorites. Um, I'm planning on doing a video that I've seen Lindsay do some and I'm really excited. I just need some of your favorite books. The second thing, I didn't want to do like a whole book haul because I got one book and I just want to mention it here. Um, but we went, me and my mom went to a thrift store the other day and she got me a book because it was a thrift store so they're cheap. But I found the third book in a series. I need to read books one or two or find them. <sighs> it's fine. Um, but that book is Every Bride Has Her Day by Janice Thompson. I have loved Janice Thompson. I've read, I think, maybe 10 or more of her books, and I've enjoyed almost all of them that I've read. So I'm really excited for this. So now what I'm actually reading, um, for an actual book, I am rereading Page Rewritten by Erin Mangum. This is my favorite trilogy by her. I love it so, so much. If y'all haven't read Erin Mangum, you need to. And I did download a book on Libby. It's an app that allows you to download books from your library. Um, and I am currently reading book two in The Mysterious Benedict Society, which this one is um, The Mysterious Benedict Society and The Perilous Journey. I also know Lindsay loves this and she reminded me that it exists and that I've read, I think, the first two books. So I'm rereading it and I plan to reread the whole series, hopefully. And then what I'm reading, and then what I'm reading in my Bible. So um, I'm I did finish my Bible plan. I think I mentioned that. So I am working on the prayer devotional by the Daily Grace Company, um, and I'm on week two, day three, I believe it is. So they have like a little prompt and different scriptures to read, and then you go through and read it, and then you can fill out the later sections and so I've just been reading that and then reading what goes along with it in my bible so yeah it's really been good and I've definitely appreciated it that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching I hope God blesses you today um I do my best to post Tuesdays at 12 30 and I'll see you next time bye